Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. Uh, this time I'm here to respond to some questions from Zimbabweans who are ZEP applicants who are trying to move to the mainstream South African permits. There's not much questions that have been asked uh, except there's two of them. The first one being uh, what does it help to extend the grace period if Zimbabweans are not going to qualify uh, as most of them want uh, for the mainstream South African permit so that's the first question the second question is uh, if somebody applies for a waiver do they also need to apply for a permit or a waiver is also a permit so those are the questions that I'm going to able to respond to uh, before I go ahead may I request you to once again subscribe to this channel if you haven't uh, like this video and share it if you have subscribed already uh, we thank you very much and hope that you will continue uh, spreading the name of, i mean the, the word about this channel and also to share and like our videos as well as uh, link your friends or send links to your friends uh, and relatives so that they can also be part of this uh, broader community so the first question uh, on whether or, or, or it means anything for the grace period to be extended uh, since most Zimbabweans will not qualify, uh, it is very difficult for me to say um, if this is going to benefit people or not. But we believe that there are many people who would have qualified for these permits who decided not to apply because of a lack of understanding about certain issues but also even if you don't qualify uh, we request that or we advise you to make some bit of uh, explanation or to make some bit of correspondence uh, with the Department of Home Affairs so that they know that you are interested and you still around uh, we give an email address uh, for which you can write to the Department of Home Affairs uh, pleading with them that you would re want to remain here in South Africa and legally so uh, the email address is zepinquiries uh, at dha.gov.za zepinquiries at dha.gov.za copy to info at adfsa.org.za info at adfsa.org.za i'm going to share these email addresses again uh, on the description section underneath this video so that if you did not uh, get it correctly then for spelling uh, issues you may just copy and paste so this is going to assist uh, the government in knowing the total number of people who are willing to apply for any available permit to move from the ZEP but who do not qualify and who for that particular purpose therefore missed out so that whenever there is a need to then make another intervention the government would know and uh, base that kind of intervention on the number of people or on a database uh, that they already have because the the feeling out there by the Department of Home Affairs, especially Minister Aaron Swaleti, is that people are refusing to apply or are ignoring uh, the various messages sent to them and advice by government for them to apply because they've been misled by those who are going to court uh, pleading for or challenging the government decision not to extend the ZEP. The second question is, uh, if somebody has applied for a waiver, or somebody has decided to apply for a waiver is it also necessary for them to apply for a permit uh, we spoke to the vfs global officers and what they told us is that uh, people who do not have the necessary skills or qualifications in terms of certificates in a particular job but who want to apply because they have experience or knowledge of the job do need to apply for a waiver but applying for a waiver doesn't mean that you then do not apply for a permit because uh, the waiver is meant for you to then be exempted from some certain requirements uh, for example qualifications uh, or some levels of qualifications or 
some requirements like fingerprints where you have to produce uh, police clearance from your home country but because of certain uh, conditions you cannot travel back to your home country to get these uh, fingerprints taken and the police clearance issued then you can apply for those to be wavered so that you can continue and apply for a, whatever permit you believe you may qualify for so a waiver is not a permit but a waiver is a plea for certain requirements to be set aside so that you can then qualify for a particular permit which otherwise you would qualify for with those particular exemptions that you are asking for not put in place for example the fingerprints as i've mentioned maybe some qualifications as i've mentioned or a certain level uh, of qualifications again uh, as i've already mentioned so applying for a waiver doesn't mean you cannot apply for a permit but applying for a waiver means should that waiver be granted you can then go ahead and apply for a permit there are also mixed uh, answers from the VFS global offices, there are some who are saying that people need to apply for a waiver first, then when that waiver is being granted, then apply for a permit. There are also others who are saying uh, you need to apply for both, but the problem becomes if for those who apply for both, when then you have applied for a waiver, but you haven't a decision hasn't been taken in as far as that waiver that you applied for uh, is concerned and then you go ahead and apply for a permit which will then require the same things that you are applying for a waiver for so it becomes a catch-22 situation which then uh, makes at, uh, us advise you as per the other advice from the VFS global officers that you need to apply for a waiver then wait for the outcome of that waiver application and then go ahead and apply for a permit because it then means that uh, if, for example, there was a positive outcome for your waiver ap application and you've been granted that waiver, you can then, upon your submission for applications for a permit, then hand over that decision that, of course, I've been given a, a waiver on this and this requirement. Therefore, let me uh, go ahead and apply for a particular visa. Uh, I hope we've responded to you, but if you haven't, if you are not satisfied with the answer or if you need more clarification in as far as applying for mainstream South African permit from the Zimbabwe exemption permit is concerned, then you can use the comment section under this, vi this video and ask your questions which we will reach out for and then respond to you. Where we don't uh, understand as well, we will call them or email them and then we'll come back with the answer that you require thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it if you are subscribed already we thank you please remain tuned